Have you ever found yourself near mid-game and realized you have no components at all? This video is for you. Now, there's a number of ways to approach this problem, so let's get right into it. For starters, you probably mine all your components from your map, don't you? And that's fine. That's the number one thing I'm going to suggest you do at the start. Just remember that your world has a finite number of component resources. So let's move on to the next bit. Remember all that mining you did on your map to get components? Well, there's another way to go about it. Smashing down old crash ship parts for components. These chunks always yield a few components. And I know this is kind of basic. Moving on to the next one, ancient dangers. Now, this is the last way to get some of the components off your tile without interacting with the outside world in any measure. Ancient dangers have people in pods that sometimes have components. Sometimes uh, hermetically sealed crates and the dangers have components in them. And even mechs when down can drop components as well. So there's a few dice roll ways to get components from an ancient danger don't pass it up especially if all you need to do is some prep work to fight what's inside now let's move on to the other way this next one is a bit easier if you have some money or stuff to barter with yeah you can trade yeah this one is probably obvious but you can trade with caravans on your map if you build a comms console you can put down some orbital trade beacons in your stockpiles and eventually traders from space will come to trade with you the other thing you can do is travel to other villages with your pawns and trade with them for what you need and sometimes during these trips, traders will meet you on the road and you can trade with them right then and there. Next up is quests. This one is really simple. Some quests will offer components as completion rewards. If the challenge is doable, it could be a fair trade. I would go for it. Next up is the long range mineral scanner, an excellent way to get lots of components or other resources on the cheap in large quantities. It will identify deposits on the map and you can send caravans to gather those resources and come home. And finally, if you're smart and grind it ahead, you will have research fabrication, in which case you are able to make your own components using steel, and none of the rest of this video matters because you're now short on steel and need to go watch my other video right here. All the ways to get steel in Rimwell.